Whoa, whoa, whoa! Fire, fire, fire! <laughs> we are Sorted, a group of mates who have your back when it comes to all things food. From cooking battles, to gadget reviews, and, it's not worth it. and cookbook challenges, to a midweek meal packs app. Crack your eggs and bake. We uncover the tools that'll help us all cook and eat smarter. Join our community where everything we do starts with you. So here's the deal. I'm stuck at home, I'm bored stiff, and I'm in need of entertainment. And there is nothing more entertaining, you and I know this, than watching two normals flap around a kitchen. So, I have set the boys a challenge, Jamie and Mike, head to head, to create an instant ramen noodle dish, and the winner will be crowned king of the nudes. <laughs> well, it sounded good up until that last bit. Yeah, I was also not fond of the I'm bored stiff, so I'm calling the boys. Well, look, it's, it's going to be very simple, but as always, plenty of jeopardy. Because the catch, you're both creating a dish with instant ramen noodles. Do with them as you please. You only have one hour, and I will be judging it based on creative use of noodles, tasty looking dish, but also entertainment value, the battle bants, and how organised you keep your kitchen, because I can actually see into your kitchen, so the whole thing is being judged. I'm like a fly on your kitchen wall. I'm watching everything. I'm going to swat you. Right, so you only have an hour, and your time starts in three, two, one. Right. Ah, I've done a bit of a cheat. What? Have a look at these. Soy-soaked eggs. But to get them done, I had to start them last night. I hope you're bearing that in mind, Ebers. He's had an entire night head start. I don't know, I think he's playing to my inner scout. He's being prepared. Ah, oh, this is already a nightmare. Right, I'm gonna be making a not so instant ramen with overnight soy marinated eggs, a rich chicken broth, mushrooms, bacon, and pork fillet. So first things first, I've gotta get on with my broth. We're going in with two chicken stock cubes, three star anise, some soy sauce, miso, four peeled cloves of garlic, sliced root ginger, Mushrooms going in. That needs to simmer away for 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna take it off the heat and let it infuse for 10 minutes. So you're still making your broth within the hour, it's just not quite so instant as the sachet that comes with. No, but it is using a lot of fresh flavors and fresh ingredients, and I have control over what they are and the quantities of them. I'm gonna use my sachet of seasoning, but I might just use it in a different place, like on my chips for my dinner. Jamie having chips for dinner is just the most <laughs> Jamie thing ever. <laughs> So Mike, tell me and everyone at home, what are you cooking? Um, well, obviously, Ebers, I'm making fried chicken and chips. So I'm going to use the ramen noodles, crush them, and then use them to coat my chicken and then fry that. But then I'm also going to use those um, noodles to make actual fries. You have made, in your own kitchen since lockdown, filled pasta and cinnamon buns. And in both occasions, you had a rolling pin. Why are you now using a bottle of wine? <laughs> That rolling pin is so heavy that I will go through the kitchen work surface if I smash my chicken. I'm gonna leave that to marinate in soy sauce and sriracha for as long as I possibly can to take on loads of that flavor. I'm gonna put that in the fridge. Wonderful. You have had eight minutes. Right, whilst that simmers, I can start on my bacon. So like a fantastic tonkotsu broth, which is obviously pork bones and deliciousness, you are going porky here. Um, I guess that's very classic Jamie in the same way that Mike is going chicken. Ebers, I'm going double pork. Bacon and pork loin. You're going DP, oh my goodness. DP. Smoked or unsmoked, Jamie? Is bacon really bacon if it's not smoked? I have to agree with that. Bacon is a curing process. Um, nah, 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 nah. If your bacon's unsmoked, it's just hot ham. <laughs> <laughs> right, bacon coming out the pan. Good color on the bacon, Jay. Right, what's next, Mike? Um, okay, so I'm gonna get these um, instant noodles uh, boiling. I have peanut butter and an egg, and that's going to go through my cooked noodles once they've been drained and cooled down a little bit. Then I'm going to fashion almost like a little tray out of tin foil, and I'm going to spread them across that. Um, I've gone chunky because, again, a bit like Jamie's smoked bacon comment, 
Is it really peanut butter if it hasn't got chunks in it? Big fan of the nuts. <laughs> and then that's gonna go into the freezer. So naturally the egg will kind of soak into those noodles and they will firm up to the point that you can start to shape them, but they kind of need chilling. All I could get hold of in the supermarket was a lean pork medallion. Um, so it's a lot thinner than a normal pork fillet. So originally I was gonna start this off in the pan and then chuck it into the oven to cook through. Uh, but actually I think this is gonna be all right just in the pan. Pork going in. One of those things I love is that kind of soy glaze you get on things, whether it's over fish, we've done it with like um, char grilled avocado before, with like a soy glaze. And I think that's what Jamie's gonna get out of this by adding the soy into the pan. Good color, Jay. Right, we're going in with some soy. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> whoa! Nearly had a house fire. Best if you keep the oil in the pan. And if you do have an instant like that, damp tea towel, don't blow it. <laughs> that is dumb, thank goodness. Are you marking safety, Ebers? Absolutely, that was horrific. <laughs> Boys, you are exactly halfway through your time. You've had 30 minutes, you have 30 minutes remaining. I have in here onion, ginger, bashed lemongrass, green chilies. It's now getting blended up into a paste. My spice paste is frying in a pan. I've put a lot of oil in a pan and I'm starting to heat that up. I don't have a thermometer. Do you have a wooden spoon? Yes. So you can test to see if your oil's hot enough by dipping the handle of the wooden spoon in. And if it sizzles around the wooden spoon, then it's probably hot enough. Oh, great. So I fried my paste off for two to three minutes and then I added in um, coconut milk, fish sauce, and some brown sugar. And now I'm just gonna leave that slowly simmering to reduce right down to the very end of the battle where I'm gonna hopefully have a delicious um, Thai sauce that I'm able to coat my chicken and chips in. Ebers. Yep. Where have you gone? You've got one job and that's to sit down and watch something. Ebers, are you eating noodles? Yeah, I got a bit. What? Got a bit. Well, you both made me noodle hungry and I had a sachet sitting here, so I added some what pak choy, a couple of mushrooms, a little bit of fresh herbs. I've got two of my five a day. Double so mine was an instant. Nude hungry. He's full of them today, isn't he? Instant ramen noodles are a real guilty pleasure. What are you doing next? Now I am making a panne station of uh, flour, beaten eggs and crushed ramen noodles. I am using the seasoning. So the sachets are going into my flour in the same way that if I was doing southern fried chicken, I'd I put spices through the flour then. Boys, oh. you're coming up to the last 15 minutes. Got to strain my broth through a sieve into another saucepan. Right, I'm going to give my broth a taste. Oh, you know it's good. Right, chicken time. I've got my bashed out chicken breast. One hand for the wet stuff, one hand for the dry stuff. I love to hear all these tips that over the years we've all talked about. They're obviously sinking in. They are. I am julienning my spring onion. That's a bold word to use because I know exactly what a julienne should look like. Does it look like this, Ebers? And that's what's great about lockdown. You've got more time on your hands to practice your knife skills. <laughs> <laughs> Ebers, how long we got? Sorry, I had a mouthful of noodle. <laughs> 10 minutes and two seconds. I think I'm gonna be all right. Yeah, that's because you haven't done anything. Oh, shut your face. How's it cutting, Mike? Yeah, it's okay. It's chilled up just enough. I'm really excited. I'm certainly intrigued by the peanut butter element. They could have done with a little bit longer, to be honest. They are holding their shape. And obviously, as they crisp up, I think they'll be good. Right, spring onions have gone into iced water. Makes them go all nice and curly, but I'm impressed that you're doing the little things. You know me, Evers. It's never about the little things with you. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, chips are a nice color. They're coming out now. And oh, oh. oh. Then hello. Then almond fries. So I think I'm gonna slice into my pork. And you can see it's lovely and tender, but it's definitely cooked all the way through. Okay, a reminder, you have five and a half minutes remaining. You're gonna have to get that chicken in, Mike. Five minutes is gonna take me up to the wire. My coconutty sauce has reduced right down. I've just thrown some Thai basil into that because I am gonna to top it with some fresh basil as well, but I just wanted some of that flavor in. I can only imagine the huddle storm that exists just left of camera angle. Nudes going in. For a man who was kind of ready about 20 minutes ago, Jay, you didn't half leave those noodles to the last second. I know, wait, it didn't come up to the boil quick enough. 
You've got great looking nudes. Thanks, mate. But 90 seconds remaining. Never easy to lady noodles. You kind of want one of those spaghetti spoons. Oh, wait, I've got one of them. I'm putting Thai seven spice sprinkled over the top of my fries. Oh, God. Oh, no. Right. I forgot about my eggs. Ebbers, look at my yolk. Nice. 30 seconds. I need to spoon over some of my sauce. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa, how'd you do, Jay? Um, how you feeling? Presentation. Yay. Same. Yay. Boys, well, if nothing else, that filled an hour of my day and I have chuckled, so thank you. But I also hope there's two uh, lovely dishes in front of you. So, Mike. What we have here is fried chicken and chips. The chicken has been marinated in soy and sriracha before being panned in crushed instant ramen noodles and deep fried. And the chicken is accompanied by ramen fries. So peanut butter and egg bound ramen noodles that have been cooked, chilled, sliced into fry shapes and fried. Topped with a reduced coconut broth, chili flakes and Thai basil. Mate, that looks amazing. It's definitely a plate of you, isn't it? Got the peanut butter, it's got the kind of Southeast Asian flavors. It used the ramen instant noodles in a slightly different way than you might think, in a dry form that was then fried and with the fries themselves. When I make a, a Thai-based curry or a coconut broth, I don't reduce it but that is so coconutty that the next time I have time on my hands, I'm reducing that down for ages because it makes such a difference. You can still see some of the texture from the paste of the sauce coming through and you get such an intense hit of flavor because of that. I'm really intrigued by the noodle fries. I, I don't know if I've ever had anything like that before. There's not really a huge cross section there. But there's a difference between the crispy outside and the middle. Absolutely. Jay, what you got? I've got a not so instant ramen. So I've got a broth and then I've topped that with soy marinated pork, bacon, mushrooms and soy marinated eggs. And of course, the instant ramen noodles. Hello, I'm a bowl of ramen and I'm delicious. Oh, that does look good. Take the eggs away because obviously they're cheating, but that's a pretty decent <laughs> bowl. What I really like about that is that is far, far better than instant ramen noodles would usually give you. It looks and sounds like a really nice middle ground between instant ramen noodles and a bone broth that is hours and hours. But I also like the fact that you've got two types of pork in there, the smokiness, the soy, and the richness of the yolk, plus the julienne of your spring onions. All round, decent effort. My bowl of instant ramen noodly things with a few veg was, was good, it's a guilty pleasure. I think both of you have gone way above and beyond that. Jamie, I think your dish looked better. Mike, much more creative use of the noodles. You both tried to clean as you go, although I imagine there's a hell of a lot more huddle storm than there is spaffle oh, in the kitchen. that is such an unfair <laughs> assumption. My winner today, king of the nudes, is Mike. Oh, I was not expecting that. A really ingenious use of instant noodles in something that's less obvious. I also don't think I'm that disappointed to not be Ebba's king of the nudes. Yeah, as he was saying it, I sort of thought, hmm, should have thought about how hard I tried for winning this one. <laughs> right, that's my opinion done. Over to you guys. Who do you think should have won? Give them a score out of 10 for both Mike and Jamie and tell us why you would give them that score. Comment down below. We've also built the Sorted Club, where you can get tons of foodie inspo using the PAX Midweek Meal app, discover and share restaurant recommendations using the Eat app, listen and contribute to our Feast Your Ears podcast, and send us ideas for new cookbooks you'll receive throughout the year. Check it all out by heading to sorted.club. And now a blooper. Spavs in control, Spavs in control, doing sixties. Pulling focus the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. Hey, let's start again. Now, how do you do side to side? Oh, it looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Pow. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a sexy ramen. Yeah, it is. Pow.